Alright guys, so it's a quick video on uh, doing some wakes for your ships for the World War II game, which we're doing, uh, which we haven't actually got a title for yet, funny enough. So these are the ships basically, uh, this is um, this is a, a based on a T2 uh, oil tanker from World War II, um, it's a 3D print, it's my own design, um, and basically I decided to um, print my own because these really aren't available um, in any kind of model uh, format or form that we're going to be using so uh, as you can see there it is you know it's, it's quite nicely detailed it's one seven hundredth scale um, yeah so I quite like it uh, this is based on the Ohio the uh, ship that managed to get through the uh, the Malta um, on the Malta convoy the blockade there so uh, yeah, uh, there it is, so that's what it is. But if you can see, it's got the wake on the front there, um, which I'll just hold up to the camera a little bit closely because you can see. So what I'm doing is just quickly show a couple of the guys how to actually do that, get that effect. Um, just, just to enhance the models a little bit, really. Um, as you can see there on the back, so all the bubbles and stuff. And, and then obviously we sort of spray them up to give it a bit of a C kind of look. Um, and it's, yeah, just make them look nice on the table. Uh, so, okay, so here's another little uh, model that I've designed. It's a, it's a 3D print of a, uh, there you go. So as you can see, yeah, this is based on one of the Empire um, convoy ships. And there were many, many, many different types of convoy ships that were used uh, throughout World War II. As you can imagine, they basically used whatever they could. They had World War I versions uh, that were still floating until the Germans sank a lot of them with the U-boats. Um, so this is basically uh, based on what's called an Empire ship. Then you had the Liberty ships, which the Americans built, which were bigger. They had guns on and stuff. Uh, but this is early war, 1940, 1941, 1942. Unarmed merchant uh, convoy ship, typical design. There's there's plenty of different types of designs. You know, there's World War One versions. There's you know there's a few different types that we've got coming in. So um, yeah, basically I'm going to put a wake on this uh, just to show the guys how to do it. So it's based on one mil uh, card, one mil plastic card, because uh, then we can use um, movement triangles uh, to move the ships correctly, and also it protects the ships from being knocked about. You know, and helps you look after them. So when you're at this stage, uh, the best thing to do is to apply the wake around the ship, and what we're going to use for that is good old-fashioned milliput standard. Uh, you don't need to use anything different. Uh, there's nothing wrong with using milliput, it's absolutely ideal. Alright guys, so uh, using the milliput, obviously take your two parts, mix uh, a small piece together. Um, one part blue, one part um, clear and mix it up. It's nice and mixed together. You don't know a bit about the size of a pea for that, it's probably too much for this anyway. Yeah, so like I say, just knead it together, two bits, and then when you're ready, just roll it out. Nice and easy. Okay. Nice and thin. And okay, so take a piece around about on a ship this size. Um, you're looking at maybe a, an inch or so on each side. Okay, just pop it on the front of the ship. Like so. Go down the sides with it. Take a thin, two thinner pieces. So roll those out really thin. Yeah, take them in half. Pop it about halfway down the ship. Like so. Don't be too sort of neat or anything at the stage. Just tuck it in. And then the last piece, roll it out into a thicker piece which you just pop on the back of the base, like that. Okay, and then need this piece down. Now this piece really wants to be a little bit narrower than the ship, around the rudder, coming back. And this is the bit you leave thick, or thicker than the rest anyway. And I'll explain why in a second. And then side pieces, tuck them in, 
using that I'm just using a like a coffee stick from Costa or somewhere and then around there just tuck it in smooth it along like so same on this side adding a bit of spit to it helps I mean obviously you can add water if you want to but I'm just too lazy to use water so I'm just using a bit of spit on it it's fine okay then anyway, it's going to be painted so it'll be COVID friendly when it's all done um, there we go and then coming down there with it and then the front this is the bit that, that really sort of makes it look right or wrong now a lot of ships will push water away from them as they go forward but it doesn't look right on a model in my opinion you're far better off cutting the front flat I'll show you now what I mean but basically if you just pop it up at the front like that and then immediately come down and back and then cut away cut away there's my scalp on there and the same on this side pop it on bulge it up at the front and then come down and away and if it's, that's better and bring it down And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away a lot of the excess now that I don't need. Because you don't want to have too much of a wake on a model ship. I mean in real life they've got some amazing wakes, you know, like white foam everywhere. But it doesn't quite look right on a model sometimes. So you just want to have a little bit of texture on the base like so. And then just lift that up over there. A little wave break in there, look. I don't know if you can see that on there, I can't really. You can see that on there, can you? Yeah, see the wave breaking away. You see what I mean about this front part? What I'm going to do basically is take it off. Well, it only takes a couple of minutes for a ship like this, and how many can I have, you know? There you go. It's starting to look. It's starting to look right now. Now, give that a bit of shape there. I'm just gonna fold up a little bit there, see, and bring it down away from the hull. Okay, so I'll just do this and then I'll show you what I've done. I always work from the front to the back of the ship because obviously that's the way the waves move and then about halfway down you can have a a wave that comes up the side of the ship or well, more than one if you want it's up to you how you want to do it whatever you think looks good but sometimes waves do peak and trough you know and wash back up And that is the kind of look that you end up with. It's a ship moving through the water. And even though that's just milliput put now on the white base for the black ship, it kind of looks like, you know, it's not, it's not completely flat now onto the base. It's got a little bit of texture. You know, the water's getting disturbed as it goes. And that's all you've got to do. That is it. You don't need to do anything else to that. That's more than enough on there. Um... Make sure you bring it up the side there just a little bit up the hole as it's gathering to give it a little bit of disturbance. Well, then the final thing I do then is I just get an old wet brush, uh, an old rough one, and I just smooth away all the bits off the boat, give it a little bit of a sort of going over, just to wash away all the bits of crap, the little um, little bits you get 
like little dots you try and get rid of dots and stuff like that and make it smooth because it means water at the end of the day it's meant to be smooth isn't it yeah uh, don't do the back bit so you want that to be you want that all to be churned up see here what you've got now is uh, along the side of the boat you've got like a couple of little waves and, and troughs there coming up in the middle see that all right and then you've got the back looks like that all all churned up as it's going through the water couple of troughs on the other side and a nice bow wake on the front ships cutting through the water if you look at it there it looks actually looks like it's nice and textured and that just really makes all the difference and then basically when it's painted if you you know however you do your uh, bases that's what you end up with uh, it just looks different now, these bases don't actually look this color I must say um, uh, in real life, on the, in this, this room's very bright at the moment, so it's it's picking out all these highlights. On a normal war gaming table, they're quite subdued, and they just there, uh, they really look uh, okay. So, but that's basically how we do the wakes on the little one seven hundred scale ships. Um, so I hope that's giving you an idea of what to do. And then, like I say, you paint it all. Where you go, happy days. All right, cool. Thanks for watching.